everyone. So, I've been busily studying my ass off for midterms, which are this week. Ugh, spring break next week. Please hurry! Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I decided I was going to take a little break and make a video. And I'm feeling a little blue today, but not in the sad way, in the mood ring. You know, blue means you're happy kind of way. Yeah, so I'm in a pretty decent mood because my studies are going well and so many people are, you know, being absolutely fantabulous and <laughs> showing the real who they are and every video is making me smile so much and I, I love all you guys. You're so wonderful, so supportive and I, I'm loving seeing the realness of you. It's fantastic. But I figured during my little break time I would do a tag. So I looked, and Meg, um, Sullen Riot, Sullen X Riot 182. That's hard to get all together and spit out. But uh, yeah, she posted a tag video of 13 questions. So I figured uh, while I took my little study break, I would jump on and do the tag for you. So here goes. What do you order at Starbucks? It's pretty rare that I go to Starbucks. So. Starbucks is more of a status thing than, you know, anything else. And it's like, I'm cool, I'm walking around with my Star Schmucks cup, and I paid $9 for this cup this big. Yeah. On the rare occasion that I have gone there uh, with friends or what have you, I will get like, you know, a vanilla mocha something, or I'm kind of fond of chai, so yeah. Maybe green tea. Um, what's the one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? Uh, that's a really hard one. Um, I pretty much can't live without anything in my closet. I have, well, not here at my place. At my parents, I have my storage. I actually constructed a closet there that is like 8 foot wide and like 12 foot long. <laughs> It's like this giant walk-in closet that's lined down both sides with shelving and has bars to hang things in the middle. And this is simply for the fact that I've been basically the same size since, you know, my junior year of high school. Uh, I've fluctuated within, you know, two sizes, back and forth. Um, in the wintertime, I get, you know, a tiny bit of pudginess. Yeah, this is my pudgy. Don't hate me. Don't judge me. I can't help it. I'm scrawny. My metabolism is just crazy. But, uh, yeah, so I pretty much keep everything. Because if I took the time to buy it, it's something that I really wanted. And I keep it there because, you know, whether you believe it or not, every fashion trend does come back. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, if you've got it in your closet, you can go... Hey, check me out. I fit right in with the whole 60s click. I fit right in with the whole 80s thing. Yeah. So, and if you want to dress up for something, you've got it. Mm hmm Yeah, I have a big closet. What's one thing that most people probably wouldn't know about you? I don't know. I'm pretty open. Um, if there's something you don't know, ask. I'm not afraid to say it. Uh... A lot of people don't know my age, but yeah, on this channel, I posted it right over there. Maybe it's over there. I don't know the direction. But it's on that side thingy on my main page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're curious about my age, look there. Uh, let's see. I forgot where I was. Number four. Name one thing that you want to do before you die. I want to go to Egypt. Yeah, just to go there, to feel it, to, you know, be in the atmosphere, the smells, the sights, the sounds. Um, maybe I would get fortunate enough that I could actually walk through one of the tombs and see some of the history that I've learned so much about. And yeah, that would be the ultimate for me. And that's something that I will definitely do before I kick it. One food that you can't live without. Pretty much anything. I like food. As long as it doesn't have mushrooms on it, it's all good. Or seafood. Ew. 
But yeah, I like food. I'm a big fan of food. So pretty much I can't live without food. What quote phrase do you live your life by? That's easy. Everybody knows. We are all living works of art. Yes, I really do believe that. And yeah, okay, yeah. I try to live by that and I try to see the beauty in artwork and everything and everyone. Um, sometimes it's difficult, but I'll keep on trying. Another one that I live by, anybody who's got a personal email from me will see my little signature quote on there. And that says, in the place where dreams and reality meet, find me. Because, yeah, I kind of live out there on an ethereal plane most of the time, and I'm like, you know, one foot in the fantasy, one foot in the reality, and I converge somewhere right about the middle. Yeah, so, that one I live by just well. What do you like or dislike about the YouTube community? Oh, you want to get me started on this? No, don't even start. Let's, you know, just go watch my food for thought if you want to see my dislikes. As far as what I like, I like that there are a few real and honest people out here, and I have made some amazing friends, and, you know, it's really good. I've actually learned quite a bit from YouTube as far as, you know, pretty much anything you want to do, you can find a YouTube instructional video on how to do it. Your toilet stopped up, <laughs> you know, type it in the search engine. You can figure out how to do it yourself and fix it. Yeah, you want to create a pair of earrings out of a coat hanger? There's probably a video for that too. What is your number one most listened to song on iTunes? I don't have iTunes. Um, yeah, my, my phone has the, like, app thing that you can get everything and all these music and everything else. I don't listen to it on my phone. I mean, a lot of people use it as an MP3 player. No, I have a stupid phone. You know, they call them smartphones. They're not. If you, you know, use the music player and you've got your connection set up so you get good signals so you can actually, you know, watch a YouTube video once in a while, you know, all this stuff can bind up and your battery goes dead in no time flat. Stupid phone. I use it for talking on the phone and as a calendar for the most part. What kind of style would you define yourself as having? Me? Um, unique. Yeah, rebel. Um, yeah, I might uh, grab a piece of a trend from here, but I'll also grab a piece of a trend from here, and then I'll tie them in a knot and make a bow, and then poof, there we go. Um, I don't do things at face value, ever. Uh, I pretty much, you know, take everything and put my own twist on it. So, yeah. I'm not a sheeple. Do I, have I mentioned that? Yeah, probably. What's your favorite number? Okay, so, my favorite number is 24. Yeah. Um, I actually started watching NASCAR, and I picked uh, the car 24, because I like the number 24. Turned out Jeff Gordon was, you know, like a really good race driver, and yeah, it, it worked out alright. Yeah, I haven't watched NASCAR in a few years, but I don't know, I guess he's still out there. But 24 has always been a lucky number for me, and... I thought it was kind of humorous when they started making the um, 24 movies and, you know, talking about how it's bad and it's scary and I was like, okay, yeah, okay, it can be bad and scary for everybody else, that just leaves more luck for that number for me. I like 24. Name two of my hobbies. Mm. Well, I play in makeup and I sew. Yeah, I create uh, costumes and I make all kinds of fun crafty things. Um, yeah, I'm, when I'm not studying my buns off, I definitely do a lot of hobby work. I would consider, you know, YouTube is my favorite hobby. I really enjoy it. Um, 
I cosplay, I dress up as anime characters and go to conventions and that is a lot of fun. Uh, that's when I can afford to do it. Um, sometimes it gets pretty expensive. Um, name two pet peeves. You know those people that everything that they say is negative? Yeah. The person that, you know, you could have this flawless makeup and your hair is perfect, but ooh, there's like a piece of thread hanging down on your sleeve. Yeah, that's what they point out. Nothing about you look good, you know. You know you got a ravelin there? Why? I mean, does it really hurt to say something nice to someone? I don't get these people. Yeah, yeah. Are they so unhappy with themselves that they have to point out flaws in anyone else? Maybe. But yeah, that's really a pet peeve of mine. And another pet peeve are people with capital letters on everything they write. Yeah, I think we've covered that. I don't like it. It's annoying. It's rude. You know, if you gotta scream, you have issues of self-respect or something, or, you know, you're screaming for attention. Who knows? I'm not gonna psychoanalyze you. I'm just gonna tell you it's rude. Please stop it. Uh, let's see. What's my guilty pleasure? Well, uh, as I mentioned, I have like this hyper metabolism, and my guilty pleasure is junk food. Uh, yeah, cookies, and cakes, and fudge rounds. Oh my gosh, I love these things. And uh, yeah, and of course, right now it's Girl Scout cookie time, and I would show you some of those, but I ate the three boxes I got a couple days ago. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna swing down and see if they're out in the doorway to Walmart. And pick me up some more. <laughs> so, well, that was my little tag, and I'm going to post questions below. You can play along if you like. So, take care.